everyone, it's Matt here. Welcome back to another episode of Savant's Tech Talk. NFTs are digitally native goods or items designed and maintained on a blockchain. And in case you don't already know, a blockchain is a digital ledger that functions as a database for tracking and management, in this case of NFTs. When someone wants to make an NFT, they mint it on a blockchain, allowing everyone to see who made it and who owns it. You could think of it as a digital phone directory where anyone can enter their phone number and have it confirmed by the phone provider. The blockchain works similarly, except the blockchain network verifies the NFT instead of the phone provider. An NFT, just like a phone number in the phone book, can't be copied or replicated after it's been designed. It's a one of a kind and its ownership will be recorded on the blockchain at all times. You notify the phone company when your phone number changes and they update the database. The blockchain will update and notate the new owner if you transfer or sell your NFT. NFTs use blockchains because they're cryptographically safe. This makes them nearly impossible to hack, modify or update and this ensures that your NFT ownership is safe. In today's video, we'll be discussing how to design your own NFT. As always, if you find this topic interesting, you can let us know by hitting that like button and subscribing to this channel for more videos. You can also let us know if you find it interesting by saying so in the comment section down below. Now let's jump into it. So are there any fees when you design your own NFT? While designing NFTs on OpenSea is free, other platforms charge a fee called gas on Ethereum-based platforms. The quantity of Ether necessary to accomplish a specific action on the blockchain, in this case adding a new NFT to the marketplace, is known as Ethereum gas. Gas prices vary according to network congestion, so the higher the users transacting at a given time, the higher the gas fees will be. Now let's look at designing your NFT. It's actually surprising how simple it is to make your own NFTs. The primary platforms for NFT creation are OpenSea and Rarible. While Rarible leads in overall sales, OpenSea offers additional options such as the possibility of designing your NFT collection using the OpenSea Exchange. Both sites allow users to upload their artwork and establish collections without knowing anything about blockchain technology. During the creation process, Rarible requires artists to mint their NFTs on the blockchain, and this translates to lower costs usually. If you're looking to sell a few NFTs for a lot of money, then Rarible is probably your best bet. But if you want to make a large number of inexpensive NFTs, then you should use OpenSea's Collection Manager. Users of OpenSea Collection Manager can design a new collection for a one-time cost. OpenSea's centralized team can design an unlimited number of NFTs from that collection and store them off-chain until a transaction is made. At this point, the buyer will pay the transaction's gas price and your NFT will be added to the chain and transferred. Now let's look at the necessary steps to get started with designing your own NFT. Setting up the MetaMask. To make your own NFT, you'll need to start by setting up a software wallet. This wallet will store your NFTs and be used to pay blockchain gas fees in the future. Go to metamask.io to download the app or add the Chrome extension. It's easy and free to create a MetaMask wallet. Remember to ensure that you keep track of your seed phrase in case you need to recover the wallet in the future. Keep in mind that wallets don't store cryptocurrencies or NFTs. Instead, they hold your private key, which is required to enable transactions. All cryptocurrencies and NFTs are stored on the blockchain, and the wallet ID is used to identify who owns them. Tokenizing your art. You'll be able to build your NFTs once you've set up a MetaMask wallet. Go to OpenSea.io and select the Create option from the menu, and you can now use OpenSea to link your MetaMask wallet and start working. Give your NFT collection a name, and then click the Add New Item button. You can now upload the file that you want to tokenize and customize it with characteristics and statistics to set it apart from the rest of your collection. Decide how many copies of each item you'll need, and then set the selling price. Listing the NFT on the marketplace. To sell your first NFT, you will have to give OpenSea permission to sell products from your account. You'll have to pay a gas fee because this needs a blockchain transaction. You're ready to go if you send some Ether to your MetaMask. This cost is only required the first time you design an NFT collection. If you don't already have Ethereum, then you can buy some on Coinbase or Gemini and send it to your MetaMask wallet. 
anyone can find and buy your NFTs on the OpenSea marketplace now that you've given OpenSea permission to sell them. Blockchain is changing how we think about both art and collectibles, but it's only the beginning. Tokenization is a powerful tool with a plethora of uses that have yet to be discovered. NFTs appear to have a bright future ahead of them, but the question is, which ones will withstand the test of time and maintain their worth? Once again, if you found this video interesting or helpful, don't forget to let us know by hitting that like button and subscribing to this channel for more videos. Thank you for watching.